I wonder whether I can provide some sort of catalyst for making our planet a better place upon which to live. As an innovator, I'll start out with attacking a problem going, I wonder if. And I think just that questioning, that I wonder statement, is the best way to open up your innovation portal. Both of my parents were science educators. I think that when I look at me and the opportunities I had and what I was eventually going to become, really didn't have any other option than to go into science because I had such great role models. Being raised with a family that always wanted to be out experiencing the wonders of nature started it off. I started out as a new hire. I came and worked on the shuttle program. And for a couple years, I worked on different shuttles, preparing them for spaceflight. And that in itself is a really awe-inspiring adventure. I had an opportunity to switch gears and start moving into a field that allowed me to begin restoration of contaminated groundwater. Groundwater contamination is certainly a global problem. EZBI stands for Emulsified Zero Valent Iron and it is an emulsion and water system used to degrade contamination in the subsurface in your groundwater. I've been extremely fortunate to work with some amazing scientists and researchers here at the Kennedy Space Center and, and also at the university. Without them, you know, we would not have developed these technologies because team settings create some of the most prosperous and, and productive environments. EZBI is one of the most licensed technology for NASA to date. Most people think of NASA as having space and aerospace and up and out, and one of the technologies that's been licensed the most is actually one that's literally down and in. I think it's neat to kind of be part of that first mission that goes and looks for those first sets of resources that may enable that further human exploration past the moon on to Mars and beyond. I wonder what it's going to be like in 50 years to live on another planetary body. I wonder, I wonder what it's going to take to get us there.